Hi everyone, this is DeFi Dad. I just discovered a new DeFi application today that I think will be very popular. Uh, it's called DCA.land. It stands for Dollar Cost Average. Uh, dollar Cost Averaging is a popular investor strategy where you put in a certain amount of money over time and you do that regardless of what's going on in the market. So an example of that would be, I am going to buy 70 DAI of ETH. In this case, you notice there's more options coming, but we're gonna buy ETH uh, once per week. The reason in this case that I've chosen to do that is just that if you were to buy, let's say 10 DAI of ETH per day instead, you end up paying uh, a lot more in terms of transaction fees. So I just wanna save on that and I'm gonna pay a larger lump sum weekly. And that way my transaction fees are now just 0.4%. So the reason this is all really cool is that uh, this feature is popular with centralized exchanges like Coinbase. And while it works really well, I've used it with Coinbase in the past. Uh, the idea here of course with these DeFi applications is that you're always in control of your assets and you don't have to trust any middlemen. Now that being said, this is a brand new unaudited application. Please proceed with extreme caution and always remember this is not financial advice. So the first thing I'm gonna do uh, beyond choosing how much I wanna convert into ETH and how often is I'm gonna go ahead and, and enable the DAP to actually move my DAI um, so that the smart contracts can execute this transaction weekly for me. All right, so I'm just gonna double check uh, what exactly I'm allowing dca.land to do. So you'll notice here, uh, permission, I'm gonna edit this. Uh, it's defaulting to me allowing them to move an unlimited amount and I would prefer to not do that. So in this case, I'm just gonna use an example here of let's say 2000. All right, and then the other thing is, I've already checked the ETH gas station. Uh, if I put in a gas price of around four GUE or more, uh, the transaction should go through really quickly. So looks, this all looks good. Uh, just a reminder, if you don't check the ETH gas station, you run the risk of putting in too little of gas or a, a, a lower gas price that could cause you to have a stuck transaction. All right, so now that I have uh, unlocked the ability for DCA land to work with my die, I can actually kick this off and start it. All right. So same thing, I'm gonna keep the gas price around five. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with gas price, just a reminder that if you lower this, the transaction will still go through in this case. It's just that I save a little bit. So I went from 26 cents to 20 cents of ether. All right, so I'm gonna hit confirm. And that is it. So uh, if you wanna try out DCA.land, uh, just go to DCA.land. Again, please be cautious in what sort of money you put into this or how you test this. Um, you can assume that anything you put into this, you can potentially lose all of it just because it's brand new and it's unaudited. And uh, you'll notice here that now that my transaction has gone through, uh, I can log into this application using my MetaMask wallet, and then I'm able to ultimately see uh, when my transactions are going through. So in this case, uh, it's going to buy uh, some ETH with my 70 DAI in five minutes, and then uh, it'll be 168 hours between then and the next purchase, which is again, one week. And then if I ever want to pause it, I can come back here and ultimately hit pause. So that's it. Uh, let me know if anyone has any questions and hopefully this is helpful.